Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to solve a problem involving the conversion from grams to moles. So let's get right to the problem. A teaspoon of table salt, NaCl, has a mass of 5.62 grams. How many moles of sodium atoms are in the teaspoon of salt? A mole map is a great resource for solving these types of problems. There are many available online, and you can find a printable mole map linked in the description of this video. To convert between grams and moles, we use the molar mass of the substance. Molar mass is on the periodic table. It's usually right underneath the symbol for the element. In this problem, the substance is sodium chloride, NaCl. There's one sodium and one chloride in the compound. So we will find the molar mass of each element and then add them together. Sodium has a molar mass of 23, and chloride has a molar mass of 35.5. It's generally not necessary to use all the decimal places that are listed on the periodic table. I usually just round up to one decimal place. Now we'll add them together and we get 58.5 grams per mole. There are really two ways to write molar mass. You could write it either as 58.5 grams per one mole or one mole per 58.5 grams. The one we use depends on the unit we are starting with in the problem. We use molar mass as a conversion factor that will cancel the unit of grams and leave us with the unit of moles. A conversion factor is a fraction where the unit you want to cancel is on the bottom and the new unit is on the top. So in our case, our conversion factor has moles over grams. So we're gonna use the one mole per 58.5 grams. So the math becomes 5.62 grams times one over 58.5. Now one over something just means divide by the number on the bottom of that fraction. So really it's 5.62 divided by 58.5. We put this into our calculator and we get 0.0961 moles of sodium chloride. Since there is one sodium atom for each unit of sodium chloride, we can just say that there's 0.0961 moles of sodium atoms. Thanks for watching. You can support the science classroom by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. 